Are you ready? I have just thought of the most amazing use for Shigechi, Josuke, and Okiyasu's uh, uh, powers. And I'm going to explain to you why they would be the three most likely people to steal the Declaration of Independence. Making Nicolas Cage's role in the film completely useless. Now, without further ado, let's begin. First off, they could begin late at night, most likely, by sneaking into where the Declaration of Independence is held. Um, if it is not in the case, which it obviously most likely isn't, it's held downstairs. Now, let's say, for the sake of argument, that it is held in the case upstairs. This is how they would go about taking it. They would go in. Okiyasu would use the hand to erase the space in front of the, you know, the glass shit thing, keeping it in. Then he'd fucking book it. After he would book it, Shigechi would come in with Harvest and tear the Declaration of Independence into a bajillion pieces. And then each of those little pieces could be crumbled up, put in their little heads, and they could scatter away. Now, of course, Josuke would not be on site. He would probably be, you know, driving the getaway car. Um, and come on, with three different stand users, they could definitely outrun the cops. No problem. No, no, no worries there. Now, as they're driving away, after they get to a safe place, Shigechi reassembles the, uh, gets all the pieces of the Declaration of Independence together. Josuke punches them, puts them back together, and then they go off on the Nicolas Cage adventure. Boom! And that is how Shigechi, Okiyasu, and Josuke would be able to steal the Declaration of Independence in National Treasure. Thank you. Have a good night.